What's going on guys, Mr. Pilot 737 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this wooden flight yoke. So basically, I got a uh, request a few months ago, like, like yeah, a couple months ago, uh, saying, can you show me how you built your flight yokes? And I actually got rid of the first original flight yoke video that I did about a year or something ago. And uh, so, but I got the request, so I, I decided to make a new one, but better. And I think it worked. I got, I think I still got to round of the edges here, make it a bit more smoother. But I reckon I'm pretty happy uh, with the design. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how I built uh, the uh, yoke in uh, in bits. Now, I have some, I have like a couple photos from the original uh, building process but it was a bit harder to film then so i'll just show you in bits what are different parts what the, the lengths are and all that so basically for the yoke here for the uh for the yoke bit i basically i cut out a board and then i drew on the board like a, a flight like a yoke style you can print one offline and stuff i just do one in my head and uh, basically, you uh, get a jigsaw and you uh, cut it out. Then you sand the inside to make it all smooth and that. You can cut out some notches here, like I did on this side. Now, you can also use these um, little brackets here, uh, angle brackets. And they they are used as a good, like, a, the thumb holders. Thumb, um, what do you call them? Like, the, the thumb resting, the thumb pads, whatever you call them. But that I, f I feel like that works pretty good. Last time I used those little wooden blocks hot glued together. These work really well. Then I just use the wood here. Uh, that's attached to this little thing where you can actually print out your the uh, checklist. And that's what I'm going to do. So that's why I left that bare. And uh, instead of it putting it, it at the bottom here, I put the uh, little where you attach your phone at the back. So basically, I'll show you in a minute. This is literally hot glued to the back. I've got to kind of flip it around. It's a bit harder to show you. But i got the stem here. This is just made out of just wood. And I did it all the same sort of pattern. Um, but that I chiseled out the bottom. I'll show you a picture. And basically that's for... Um, just so when you lean the, the yoke back, it goes into the pocket a bit more. And it leans a bit more back in, before it used to stop like there. And basically, you put you cut the yoke out, and I'll turn you around, I'll turn it around, and I'll show you. But then you drill a hole through this and that, and uh, to create like two holes through each pieces of the wood. Then you just put a bolt there so this can pivot. And then down here, all it is is a hinge. So it's literally a board, a stick, and a yoke piece cut out. It's really simple. And once you attach a phone here, it really does work for playing, say X plane or whatever. It, you want to play you basically you put your phone in there and connect it to the tv at least that's what i do and uh just to connect this to the piece of wood i got the uh the uh stick here then i got a little block there which is attaching two screws and that's on the hinge so it's just a just a door hinge and that's literally sitting on the wood so you can get just a piece of wood i think this is 400 by 300 or something to put your feet on little thing a uh, little stick here i think that's 700 and then that's like what i think 150 by 200 or something 150 i'm actually not sure but basically that is uh how i built it now i'll, sh I'll turn you around and i'll show you the back part of it it's, it's actually a really simple process you got uh, this is the joby camera thingy it came with like a stick and i unscrewed it uh dented a little pocket in i uh, chiseled out a little pocket then just put a bunch of hot glue and that holds really well and basically this is what i'm showing you about i got two nuts there which literally put screw on and then screw on through the holes and then you can literally just turn it and on the back here that's the uh little uh that's the uh hinge bit i was showing you it's just a block that's screwed on here and then the yoke's got two screws here and and that's what literally just keeps it in place so if you like this video remember to subscribe um 
I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos. I, I cut down a little bit. Um, I was a bit busy, but I'll try to keep posting. And uh, yeah. Uh, so remember to like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye.